Hey, welcome everybody to the Red Stars' pre-match uh, media availability. We have Penelope Hawking and Coach Donaldson with us. As always, if you have a question, please use the raise your hand function and I'll use it to call on you. Anybody want to kick us off? JK, Joe, go ahead. Hello, I was about to ask who JK was, so <laughs> very fun. Thank you, Emmanuel. How are you guys doing in San Francisco? Raining, Joe. We're good. <laughs> Good, good. Uh, Lauren, I'm curious, we're going against a Bay FC team that uh, they score goals and they've got some really good players. Uh, what do you think uh, presents a challenge against this team? Uh, obviously, we can start with Rachel uh, uh, Quantana. They've got a lot of good talents there, despite being an expansion team. Yeah, a lot of fast and talented players, but as usual, this league is fast and talented. So, I mean, we have to just make the adjustment. We haven't made it over the last two games. So, hopefully, we can get back to our ways of playing, you know get back to the basic way we started the season and you know our thing for this game is hey you know what let's get back to what you know gone so i mean had us some success and just be a very you know be get back to what we started the season and you know and go from there and, and, and penelope you know it's been a little bit of a slow start to the season free I'm curious, so what do you think you could do two out know, through six games now? Sorry, Joe, you cut out for the last part. Can you repeat that? Yeah, of course. Sorry about yeah. that. I'm just curious, you know, it's not been the ideal start to the season for you. Only one shot on target. I'm just curious, you know, what you can do to help, you know, improve your game and get you to where you want to be, I imagine, as well. Yeah, um, I mean, I think just getting in scoring positions and just having more composure in front of goal. Um, and I've been working on that in practices and stuff. So, yeah, just having more composure in and around the box. I think that comes with games, more game time too. So, um, yeah. And just in terms of ingratiating yourself in this new system, last time I talked to you, it was the only, you know, of the season i'm curious how do you feel this team is meshing into lauren's system you know now six eight weeks in good um i mean i think this season's like full of like ups and downs highs and lows and right now i think we're in a little bit of a low point and we're going to make changes and i think this team is like super resilient and adaptable and um i'm just excited to see how we can respond to this you know like we're not going to be the same team we are we're in the first game, and we're not going to be the same team that we were in the last game. We're going to have different players rotating in, and everyone's going to step up to the plate, and I know that for a fact. So, um, yeah, I just think that we have um, more to give and uh, more things to come for this team. Awesome. Thank you both for your time. Thanks, Joe. Uh, good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. LT, go ahead. Hey guys, LT Red Stars report. Um, coach, two losses in a row. Uh, were the problem areas that you had identified in either play or tactics the same across both matches, or had you cleaned up some of them uh, against Portland? And then the Washington was kind of another set of things you were. Well, I mean, at. I think I think they were a little bit different. You know, I mean, you clean up some, and then all of a sudden something unexpected that we, you know, we didn't. We didn't bank in, you know, I mean, yeah, obviously, you know, we get exploited in certain areas. So, you know, so as coaches, we have to see that and um, I make sure, you know, it's preventable. But I think the key is us, us as coaches and players. We have to just be, you know, you know, as, 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 as P just says, you know, it's a little bit of a low. And I think everybody goes through that. Portland went through it. Everybody goes through a little bit of a low. And it's, uh, you know. You can tell your players or tell your team when you can pull yourself out or something like this. And I think that's what we're up to do. You know, just just drag a, just pull our bootstraps out and pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off and just get on with it. Well, we, we, we have to now, you know, start start moving. So, yeah, so whatever we identify or whatever is not identified, we have to fix some stuff on the field, okay, during the run of play, and then we just fix some stuff, you know, before we play the game. So we will move on. And the, uh, the club has found uh, more success on the road this season, a trend that could continue uh, tomorrow against Bay FC. Would you attribute that to anything this early in the season, or was it perhaps just based on the opponents you played at home? 
Well, I don't think, I mean, Seattle just won a game with 10 players last night. So, I mean, that, that's a very good, that's always an outstanding team. I just think sometimes players leave home and they get together and um, there's a collective feeling and a collective unit amongst the players. You know, sometimes, and maybe, you know, I don't know if we're more into, the, more into one of those type of team that when you travel, you know, you're a lot more relaxed and players get together and there's more communication and there's more, as I would say, bonding as a group to get the job done. And at home, you show up and, you know, coaches want to think that when, when, when a team travel, they have a little more control of the situation with teams. But hopefully we can, we want to fix the home stuff. You know, I don't want to find all these lame excuses. You know, we need to perform at home because there's people who pay their hard earned money to come out and see us play and we have been cracked. And uh, uh, thanks coach. Uh, Penelope, you came into this club as a rookie last season with a lot of uh, people expecting you to learn under, learn under a player like Mal in your first year, but due to her injury, you sort of spent your rookie year with a lot of high expectations put on you. Um, how has your approach this season changed now that the expectations may be a little closer to um, what you or others had in mind prior to Mal's injury, or have your expectations always sort of been the same? Um, I think, you know, coming in, I was really excited to be given the opportunity to play with Mal last year, and then unfortunately she um, got injured. So, and I mean, like, that's going to happen with every team, you know, like, your star player is going to get um, gonna get her like there's gonna be injuries throughout the season but I think the expectation for myself and like my teammates just like step up to the plate and um, just like work as hard as I can to just be the best version of myself regardless of you know if Mal's her or anyone on our team is, is her or not playing or whatever the case is um, I think like my expectation is always just to be like a goal scorer and um, a good forward like for my team so I don't think it's changed um, from year to year I think like I've gotten more comfortable in my second year just like playing more games having more games under my belt but um, yeah I would just say like I don't like rely on Mal or anyone like lean on them uh, to like get the job done like it's always been we all have to do our individual jobs to get the job done. All right thanks guys good luck tomorrow. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, LT. Jim, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, Coach, I'm going to start with you. Um, you used a lot of substitutions last game. This week, it's a short week and a uh, big, you know, cross-country trip. Do you plan on using all your substitutions at your hand, or how do you kind of approach with uh, with a short week and uh, the long trip? Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, it's um, the – it's whatever the game demands, you know. You don't go in there and say they're going to do this, this, and this. You know, the game can take different turns, okay. So it's whatever the game demands. If we have players that we can, you know, that, you know, it's, it's, it, it, you know, we're getting the job done, then we don't need to do anything. But whatever the game demands, that's what we will do. But up, um... I'm curious kind of what's your weekly routine in, you know, during match week and then in a week like this where you basically have three games in a span of a week and a short week and a cross country trip. Uh, what do you kind of do to, to prep in advance for, for a short week like this? Yeah. I mean, it's something that's really unexpected. We did it last year a little bit um, with the challenge cup. So I got some experience um, on how to handle that, just like midweek games and the games on the weekend. Um, so, uh, yeah, I would just say like it's we just have to focus on like our nutrition and our recovery and everything. So, um, I would say we just like play the game, get back to practice, and um, really hydrate and recover, and because it's just important to be as fresh as you can going to the next game, uh, whether you're playing. 90, 60, 30 minutes, like you just got to be ready for whatever. And um, yeah, just like more focused throughout the week instead of, you know, which every week, like I take it very seriously. I think we all do. But right now it's just like we got to take it um, a little more seriously now just because coming off a few losses and this game is really important. So we're just trying to do whatever we can to put ourselves in the best possible position to win this game. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Jim. Joe, you had a follow-up? 
Yeah, I gotta bother Penelope one more time. Sorry. Uh, uh, curious, Penelope, I haven't had a chance to ask you this, but now seeing Jenna more in the starting lineup, I know you're typically on the other side of the wing, or last game you guys were the substitutes for one another, but I'm curious what you've seen from her as she's elevated her play, just because uh, I think we've all... Uh, Everyone on the team has seemed to expect it, but uh, we've all been a bit surprised seeing it in practice on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, Jenna, I think Jenna's an amazing player and she's um, really stepped up this year and she just, you can just tell in practice, she works her butt off and uh, I think she's definitely deserved um, the starting spot. She's gotten a couple assists too and just played really well, just, you know, just given the other team's outside backs a really hard time and um yeah like I just I love watching her play and I just think she's relentless and super dangerous and she's just gonna keep doing that from game to game and I just have no doubt about it um and yeah I, th I just think she's been doing a wonderful job and um I know she'll just keep it up and keep um producing for us do you think her energy is similar to yours on the pitch? Because I do. Like, just seeing the edge you both bring to the pitch. Yeah, I think we're very similar players. I think we both have, like, a lot of speed. Um, and we want to go to goal. We want to score goals. We want to just, like, crash the net. So um, I think we're very similar. We play very similar. We're very good friends. And we both, like, collaborate, do film together just because we're very similar players. So, um, yeah, I just, I just think she's been doing a great job. And we both feed off each other. And we help each other out. So it's been great to have a teammate like her perfect and have you beaten her in Fortnite yet <laughs> every time perfect that's what i love to hear awesome thank you guys i'll see you had a follow-up yeah jim put something in my head uh coach i was wondering if you had any um comments on uh the league's scheduling format uh having you know played in seattle and then two games saturday wednesday and then going all the way back to the West Coast just a few days later. Yeah, I mean, I could say a lot of stuff about the league, but I don't like, you know, I just, I just figured, you know, you know, the league of a lot of professional people who, do, who does this and does all these major stu studies. Sometimes I ignore all the studies, and so I don't want to say too much about it. I mean, if, if, the only thing I could say that if, you, if you're going to schedule this, then one of those trips has, has to be a shorter trip. Not go west coast back to back and then try to do this. I think it's very, very difficult. But you know what? I, I don't want, I never focus my mind on that. I just, hey, they do what they're going to do and we have to just play. I mean, that, that's what we have. So we have to just figure it out and play. Of course. All right, cool. Thanks, coach. Thanks, LT. Ednan, did you have a question? Yes, sir. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> uh, just, just for the, uh, the coach, Lauren. Uh, Probably since it's not uh, three games in one week, you're going to rotate in a, a, a lot of players tomorrow. Uh, what's uh, the, it's, it's a strategy? It's going to be different than the other games I'm playing on the road? Or uh, do you have any? Uh, I don't know if you answered this already. Do you have any injury updates for any of the players? No, we're okay. The same way we came out um, the last game. So. But you do gonna play different tomorrow than you have played the other games. Well, I mean, you know, you approach every game different. You know, hopefully we can. As I said, hopefully we can get back to the way that you know we play on the road, and we're gonna try to go back to what we do very well on the road, and try to use some of that experience, I mean, some of the past experience from this season, and just you know get the job done. Thank you. Uh, one question for Penelope. It's uh, how you feel uh, so far to this season. Do you think you're a hundred percent already fit uh, into the team? Yeah, um, uh, I feel good. Um, feel hundred um, percent. Just you know, trying to maintain fitness every single week and just prepare for whatever the game may ask of me. Um, but. Yeah, I mean, I think we all feel pretty good, and we're this far into the season. We we kind of have to at this point. That's what we prepare ourselves for, like, in preseason and throughout these games. So, yeah. Thanks, Evnon. Thanks, everybody. I'll have a recording out shortly. Thanks, Thanks guys.